Right. My name is Matea and I work for the Arizona State University Office of Community Health Engagement and Resiliency. And today I'm here to talk to you about a concept of the Community Resiliency Model, or CREM, called the Resilient Zone. So the Resilient Zone is a place of well-being in mind, body, and spirit. And what that means is that when you're in your Resilient Zone, you can really handle whatever life throws at you. Um, or anything that you experience as you go about your day. And so to help, I'm going to draw a little diagram of what the resilient zone might look like. And so the resilient zone is, right, this zone between these two lines, and what your state of being might look like throughout the day might be something like this. And so it's totally normal to move up and down within your resilient zone um, you don't have to be happy to be there. You could be a little bit sad, but you're still okay. You know, you're handling your sadness. Or you could be a little anxious, maybe a little excited about something, um, but you're not swept away by that anxiety or excitement. That means that you're in your resilient zone. Sometimes life happens and we get bumped out of our zone into our high zone, or we might get knocked down into our low zone and be stuck there. So the high zone is a very activated state where you might be experiencing pain, um, hypersensitivity, things like that. Whereas the low zone, you might be feeling fatigued or numb and it's a very deactivated state. And so the goal of the CREM skills uh, is to really help you stay in your resilient zone and to widen the amount of life experiences and emotions and feelings and sensations that you can experience without feeling overwhelmed or out of control. So the resilient zone is a place we want to be um, and you can practice the crumb skills to stay there. And that's the resilient zone.